Hey guys, today we're at Institute 3E and we're about to check out a vision session with Montreal Canadian Chris Higgins. Let's go inside. Hi, I'm Alexis and I'm here with Montreal Canadian Chris Higgins. Chris just finished a visual training. Can you tell us a little bit about how that's affected your game or how that helps you? Uh, I started working with Ernie, Ernie a couple years ago um, and I think it's definitely helped. I actually got a laser eye surgery this summer so uh, I wanted to adapt to my new vision. I was pretty terrible vision before. I was like 2070 and now I'm better than 2020 and uh, just trying to adapt to uh, how I see things differently and he's, uh, he's definitely helped me along. Vision is basically the triggering mechanism that the individual has to use in order to have his muscles respond to what he sees. It is crucial in hockey. It's crucial in every single sport. The lights are gonna move by themselves. You don't get there in time, no score. The faster you go, the more points you're gonna get. One of the reasons that you do this so well is that you've learned how to separate your eyes from your head. Okay. Oh. 59. Remember we talked about why you like that height? Yeah, it's all about coming up about that height, especially when I'm stepping in front, standing in front of the Bucks, uh, you know, doing power play. Right, okay. So we're getting those rebounds yeah. and, oh. okay, we're going to uh, put the prisms on. Yeah. Making me look good for the audience right now. Huh? This is going to be a little tight, so. <laughs> Here we go. Now you notice you're always following that ball right into your hands. Lots of people take their eyes off the puck. These lenses are forcing you to look at the puck because the ball actually looks in a different place than it really is. Unless he follows it right into his hands, he's gonna miss. All right, let's do five in a row without the glasses. Gotta go right to my belt buckle. Wow, just it immediately. Usually there's an overreaction. Since things look like they were over at the side, usually it takes three or four attempts to get back to recalibrate. It recalibrates immediately. It's unbelievable. You can read the first letter of the line, last letter. Second letter, second from the end. We're going to work in. Okay, we're going to get our eyes moving back and forth. That's what you have to do on the ice. Go. Yes. Good. H M D S. I think we've had it. Want to go run a few miles now? Or? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Let's see. Um, we have a string. And hold this under your nose. And we have two beads that you can see. See the two green beads? Yeah, so look at this bead here. How many strings do you have? Two. Two. You have two strings. The reason he has two strings is because both eyes are working. Close one eye, see what happens. Good. Close the other eye, see what happens. Good. And with both eyes open, good. This is crucial because when you're using two eyes together, it tells you where things are in space and when they're going to get there. Yeah, it really helps in front of the net because you have to know exactly where that puck is. Right? Yeah. That's the key thing. Definitely work with Arnie. I think I uh, see things quicker and able to react things quicker and uh, you know some of the exercises that we do uh, you know pretty uh, pretty awesome and obviously made me sweat just working on my vision which is uh, which has a lot I guess. So you play on the best NHL power play unit in the league what's it like? Oh uh, it's pretty easy for me because most of the time I'm just standing in front and watching the other guys make pretty plays and most of the time I'm on the receiving end of those those kind of plays. Uh, Get on the ice with uh, Saku Koivu, Alex Kovalev, uh, Andre Markov. I mean, those guys could uh, throw some pretty good pinpoint passes. And like I said, I just got to stand in front and get some of the dirty goals. So it's uh, it's more entertaining for me uh, to see the plays develop from, from being in front of the net. You took a very academic um, route to the NHL. How did that affect your game? Uh, I never really thought I was going to make the NHL. I was uh, you know, always dreamed of playing, but I never thought I was actually going to make it, so uh, you know, playing at Avon, um, I had the chance to uh, chance to go to some pretty big uh, colleges. Uh, I chose Yale just because the academics were better, obviously, if you get a degree from, from Yale, uh, 
know, you can do a lot of things with that. Um, I ended up playing really well at Yale and got drafted in the first round and didn't actually get my diploma from, from Yale, so. You grew up a Canadiens fan and now you are one. This year is the 100th anniversary of the franchise. Who do you think is the all-time greatest Canadian? Uh, um, I guess you gotta say Jean Beliveau. Um, still, uh, still an active part of the, of the organization and uh, it's pretty much a living legend in, in that city. Uh, a lot of grace, a lot of class, and um, if, if you've met the man, you can uh, tell immediately why uh, the city and, and, and hockey fans all over love him. Hi, this is Christopher Higgins of the Montreal Canadiens. You're on HockeyBarn.com, where hockey hits the net.